Howdy. Today I've got something a little bit different for you guys. This is the Lalightgo LED kit for the Nissan Skyline. For full disclosure, they sent me this set for free, but any opinion that I have on it is my own. I do have an affiliate link in the description if you guys choose to get one of these, and you can get 25% off with code TIGERBRICKS. This kit retails for $26, so let's see if it's worth it. Opening up the box, we're just greeted with a small, somewhat translucent bag. Inside that bag, there are four smaller anti-static resealable bags. This looks like a battery pack to USB power output. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen a lot of those. And then three bags of what appears to just be LEDs. And this one has a USB plug-in, so that's probably going to be our power cord. And this is everything that comes in that pack. For $26, it definitely doesn't seem like a lot, and these electronics are pretty cheap, so I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. And it may seem a little daunting, but Lightgo has some pretty detailed instructions on their website, and all you have to do is look it up. And once you're finished with that, you're greeted with what looks exactly like the LEGO set number 76917, the Nissan Skyline R34. That set retails for $25 in the United States, so all in all, about $51 go into this. That's a lot of money to someone like me, and I'm not even too into cars. I just think that the Nissan Skyline is one of the best sets to come out within the last two years. It's really hard to see any of the LEDs in the headlights, but when you flip it upside down, you can see where the wiring all goes, and they do their best to hide it with these little adhesive strips. I wouldn't say that's necessarily a bad thing. It's always going to be facing the ground unless you have it displayed at a weird angle. Again, with the rear lights, it's pretty hard to see any of the LEDs. I give this kit like a 9 out of 10 for hiding them. I think with a modular building, you'll be able to hide the LEDs better, but this is just how it is. Let's see how it looks lit up. It's just a pretty simple on and off battery pack. It takes three AAA batteries to the USB output. You can also probably just plug it into any USB port. I don't know the exact voltage of those, so I can't tell that for sure. Anywhere below 5 volts, you should be fine though. And turning off one of these lights, you can see that it's very bright. I'm surprised at how bright these LEDs are. You can probably change how bright they are with the voltage, but again, I'm just using a USB port. All of the brake lights look great. They're all like perfectly centered and just really nice looking. I can't really say the same for the interior. You can kind of see the wires and they just kind of hang them there in the instructions, so it's a little bit weird. I'd personally skip them. I don't even know if that's possible to do, if it would short it out or anything. I do think it looks very nice and it was easy to put together. But do I think it's worth more than the actual price of the set? Not really. To the right buyer though, I think they'd be more than happy with how it looks. It's definitely some bright LEDs and they stand out. It's really going to set this car apart in my collection and I think that's what we're looking for with the light kit. To do this with every car though would take some serious money and it's definitely only for the most avid collectors. But I'd like to thank the light go for reaching out and sending this to me. I really enjoyed it. If you guys are interested, go ahead and use my affiliate link in the description, but that's all I have for you right now. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, or if you enjoyed the review, leave a like or subscribe. See ya.